Did you know California's oldest municipal airport is located right here in Long Beach and is celebrating its 100th year anniversary? Hi, I'm Jesse Lopez and I'd like you to join me as I explore the city's municipal airport and its 100 years of Long Beach history. For the past 100 years, Long Beach Airport has been an integral part of the city's history and has served as an important regional travel hub and gateway to Southern California. And it all started right here, right along the beach. From about 1910 to 1919, pioneers of Long Beach Aviation took off and landed their fabric-covered wooden airplanes during low tides and essentially used Long Beach's seven miles of coastline as the city's unofficial airport. In fact, the world's first transcontinental flight, flown by Calbreth Cal Rogers, landed in 1911 right along the sand here in Long Beach. But of all the Golden Age aviation pioneers, Earl S. Doherty probably had the biggest impact in the development of the Long Beach Airport. A former World War I Army Corps flight instructor, stunt pilot, and plane builder, Earl Doherty opened the city's first flight training field and school at Bixby Road and America Avenue, or Long Beach Boulevard as we all know it today. At Doherty's Field, aviators from all around the world came to marvel at the air tournaments and air circuses held at his airfield, dazzling countless spectators. One of those spectators in attendance was future aviator Amelia Earhart. Enamored by Doherty's aerobatics, Earhart asked for a chance to learn to fly and took her very first flight with Long Beach Poly High School alum Frank Hawks a few days after attending one of Earl Doherty's shows. In 1923, the Long Beach City Council realized that it could no longer sustain the city's growing aviation industry solely at Earl Doherty's field or the beach. And so, based on recommendations by Earl Doherty and the Navy, the council purchased 150 acres of land near the intersection of Spring Street and Cherry Avenue and broke ground on the city's municipal airport and named Doherty Field in honor of the aviation pioneer. By 1925, the new municipal airport had significant development that saw new hangars and administrative facilities for the Army and Navy. And in 1941, the airport welcomed the addition of its historic, streamlined, modern terminal building. But that's a story for another video. During World War II, the airport and its manufacturing capabilities were paramount to the war effort. Companies like Douglas Aircraft employing thousands of women, many from diverse backgrounds, working around the clock, assembling the military aircraft that would ultimately help win World War II. Seeing the potential the Long Beach Airport had during the war, then director of aeronautics for the city, Earl A. Lloyd, envisioned a large expansion of the airport that would have seen the airport go from 740 acres to more than double its size. The proposal would have seen the lengthening and additions of runways, along with a new air terminal for freight that would have developed Long Beach Airport into the air center of the Southwest after the war. But alas, those plans did not come to fruition. Even though Earl Lloyd's plan never materialized, Long Beach Airport's growth was far from over. Post-war, Long Beach Airport continued to shepherd the enormous growth in commercial airplane manufacturing thanks to companies like McDonnell Douglas and aircraft like the DC-10 and the Long Beach-built C-17 Globemaster III. The story of Long Beach's municipal airport is in many ways the story of aviation itself. From its humble beginnings along the Long Beach coastline to its immeasurable contributions to the war effort in World War II, Long Beach Airport is a true gem of our city and continues to innovate for the thousands of travelers that land on its runways day in and day out. With 100 years of history, there's so much more to explore here at the Long Beach Airport. Please make sure to check out the rest of our historical video series about the airport for more stories of this historic city treasure. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this exploration of Long Beach Airport's 100 years of Long Beach history.